Ladies and gentlemen, this is your second place team with 24.5 pounds, Kale Stevens, Bradley McQueen. Give a round of applause. Taking home 3,000 bucks, man, plus contingencies. Tell me about your day, man. How many did you catch? Oh, uh, we probably had eight or nine fish today. Lost a couple. Uh, ran all the way around the whole lake. And like I said, we didn't catch many early. Caught some a little later in the day. All flipping. And that was about our day. And you told me when you weighed in, you did not lose the winning fish that you knew of, right? So give me a primary bait, man. Did you have a primary bait or did you jump fish all day? Uh, Medlock jig was the primary one. I uh, had a singer on the back, gambler singer. And he was also flipping uh, his D-bomb. So we were catching all that. D-bomb? D-bomb. On the Medlock jig? On the Medlock jig. And did you guys know you were on that kind of quality? It sounds like you are running and gunning, man. Did you, were you practicing? Were you on anything? What was your story, man? Uh, we didn't really fish much in practice. We just kind of discovered a bunch of water day and let it go like that. Was the bluegill spawn the deal? Uh, there were bluegill boats around, for sure. Um, I don't know if they were feeding on them or if that was their main forage, but the one we did catch, the big one, had a big shad down its throat. Really? She spit up a big shad? Yeah, there was a big shad in my live well just a second ago, so that would help. A little bit, but it wouldn't have made it 28 pounds, that's for sure. No, but they were all real healthy, you know, real nice, pretty fish. So you ran all around the lake, you caught a junk fish, and then you pulled it together here, caught a bunch of fish today. Do you think the water coming up or the bluegill spawn set the bite off? Uh, that's a good question. I believe made a bluegill a little bit of both, but I would like to see the water come back down, in my opinion. You like it tough? I like it lower. It helps the grass grow a little bit better and spread out. But is is there hope, man? Is there hope for this lake? There's lots of hope, yeah. What do we need to do, man? Just, I don't know. Quit spraying? Uh, yeah, quit spraying. Yeah, quit, spraying. quit 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 spraying. That's right, thank you. I we don't like that. the north end, too, the other day when I was practicing. Oh, that's right, because we got to spend that money. we got to get rid of that. All right, but let's go back to the positive. But I, I like what we're saying. We're on the soapbox. Good job today. So your second place taking on three grand plus contingencies, 24 and a half pounds, second place team, Kalen Bradley. Give a big round of applause, everybody.